Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lucinda from Yellow Chic Road. Thank you for joining me again. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already done so and find me on Instagram at Yellow Chic Road. I always like to post some extra little um, photos there of all my pieces that I love so much. So I would love to see you there as well. Um, so today I thought I'd share the exciting Christmas packaging from Louis Vuitton. Um, this was picked up just yesterday. So this is something um, I saw actually initially on Instagram. I saw some people showing some previews. I think Foxy LV had um, on Instagram showing some previews of what their Christmas packaging looks like. Everybody loves packaging. Everybody loves what people um, do for Christmas packaging. And I think this is really quite a standout. Um, I know this is sort of um, mimicked in their window displays and specifically in the new store that they just um, reopened. I think in London, this was very heavily prevalent throughout the store, this beautiful sort of rainbow design. So I thought I would show you a really beautiful close up of the bags. Um, interestingly, um, yesterday my mom and I went into the store because she was picking up a order that she had put deposit down on um, and it had arrived and we had asked for this because we saw they were sort of displaying some things with this packaging mm. around the store but people were still walking out with the normal like, you know, yellow bags. So we said, oh, is it possible to get the Christmas packaging and we were given this bag and I'll show you inside so basically the boxes are of course the same but they've used new ribbon it's a thicker ribbon it's white and it's got the Louis Vuitton embossed in gold so I'll show you what's inside because it's pretty beautiful um, we love bandoliers in the house by we I mean my mom and I um, I've got so many but I just love them um, and this is the new one from the Cruise 20 collection. So we love New York City and this is a play on the Chrysler building. Um, I'll try and show some close-ups as well, but this was just so beautiful. And it does have embellishments. So I've noticed a lot of the new bandos that they are bringing out have either stress embellishment or this is um, like metal studding. So that's obviously very in keeping with the art deco vibes of the Chrysler building. And this one is just so beautiful. The second piece that was picked up is also in this box with that ribbon. And this was on our radar for a little while. And then we saw it in a video by Hey June, who's also, I think, based in Brisbane. And she's this gorgeous YouTuber. And she had picked up this strap and it officially made us love it even more. And it is the bandolier in the mono with the black underside. And it has the um, stud, press stud extenders. So you can extend that up and clip it in and make it longer. So that's that there. I'll show you some mod shots on a bag so you can get the gist of that. But this was just a really cool little strap and a really great little addition to your bags. And a nice little one to, you know, mix up the straps on your bags, especially if you've got some of those smaller bags, like a favorite. It's a nice way of not doing just the um, classic fine strap that they come with. So I thought I'd also share with you my first ever experience with the Hermes online store. So this had been, well, this particular piece had been on my radar for a month or two now. Bagaholic Boy initially posted like a little shot of these things and I'll include that screenshot for you. Um, and I just thought, oh wow, that is so beautiful and such a great idea. I did do a little small unboxing, so I'll include a little quick play of that so you can see so basically
basically I ordered the Collier de Chine 24 and I ordered it in the Anemone, which is a purple. And it is so beautiful. This has the rose gold hardware. So I will show you what this looks like on the wrists because in Australia it was only available in um, the T1 or T2 sizes. And I will show you how that looks um, just so you can get an idea. Basically I'd seen this on the Australian website and I thought, oh great, the stores must have received it by now because previously they hadn't when I had checked in with them and I went in when I saw this on the website and they still hadn't received any and they weren't even able to see if they were available at any other stores it just wasn't existent so um, they just said look you're just better off buying it on the website and that way you can get your hands on it because it doesn't look like there's going to be many of them around so I snapped it up this is the first time I ever shopped with Hermes online and it came beautifully packaged um, as um, you sort of see here it came in tissue they also included this little um, bag here with a couple of perfume samples which I mean that's always welcome and I always love taking these when I'm going traveling because that way you don't have to lug around big perfume bottles with you but I just thought I'd share that and show you um, what this looks like on the wrist so everyone I hope you enjoyed that quick little um, preview of what the Louis Vuitton Christmas packaging looks like. I think the bags are so fun. I love the colors and I think they really hit it out of the ballpark this year with that. Um, and let me know your thoughts on that Hermes bracelet because I think that size is perfect. It's a great piece that you can maybe layer with the other pieces I showed you um, quickly just how it looks layered with the um, Kelly double tour. So I would love to know whether that's something that you'll scout out for or not. Um, please like and subscribe. I'll see you in my next video. Thanks so much guys. Bye.